Welcome to another video. I'm Todd from First Cut Sawmill. Today's project we've got sort of a small sign. I think this is the smallest one we've done so far in a video. We had a realtor friend down the street ask us to put a small sign that had his logo on it. And so we said, sure, no problem. This is what we came up with. So this video is going to show how we took his logo image and imported it into the project and used it for the sign. So I think you're going to enjoy that. So let's get started. I started with the Trace app and uploaded the Realtor's logo in JPEG format. Then I adjusted the threshold and smoothing to get the image I wanted and clicked import. The lettering for the image didn't render as I needed, so I cropped it out and added text manually with the same font. I used a 60 degree V-bit to carve the logo. I set everything at a depth of 0 0.06 inches and did a simulation, which turned out to be 25 minutes of cut time. Then I generated the G-code and was ready to carve. Positioned the bit in the bottom left corner, zeroed the software, and started to cut. The first toolpath just engraved the logo and border. The next pass will cut out the workpiece. For all my projects so far, I've used the free version of the ESOL software from Inventables. They give you four free days a month to use their pro features, 
which includes the use of a V-bit. This was one of those free days for me. This part of the video is set at four times normal speed. And the first cut is done. For the cutout path, I made a border, set the bit to the 1 8 inch upcut bit, and adjusted the tabs to 8 to be sure the workpiece stayed in place while cutting. As this was such a small narrow bit, I adjusted the plunge rate to a very small 0.02 inches. This resulted in the tool path going around the border 50 times to reach its full 1 inch cut. This portion of the video is set at 20 times normal speed. The cutout pass took 39 minutes, much longer than the logo pass. That may have been a little overcautious on my part.
Here you can see the tabs which held the workpiece in place perfectly during the cut. A little sanding and it was ready to paint. Again, my wife Kelly took care of the painting all by hand. For the second coat of blue, she realized it was too light and mixed the next batch a bit darker. Once the painting was complete, it was again ready for a quick sanding to remove the excess paint on the main surface. Some clear coat finish and the sign is complete. And it's just the size our realtor friend wanted. I think he's going to like it. Thanks for watching this video. Hope you enjoyed it. We've got some great projects coming up again in the next few weeks. By the way, if you haven't seen all the videos so far, just go ahead and click right over here and that is the playlist of all the project videos I've done so far. And like I always say, if you like this video, Go ahead and click the like button, subscribe, share these videos with your friends, and comment below. We'd love to hear from you. Thanks again. Bye.